Perfect couples don't exist. So oh, wait, who are we kidding? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith made us believe in love. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at one of Hollywood's most charming, endearing couples, and the reasons why they are, in fact, hashtag relationship goals. Number 10. Becoming Mr. and Mrs. Smith Back in his days of being Bel Air royalty, Will caught sight of Jada while she was on A Different World. Jada just so happened to be friends of friends with a certain Tom Jones fan, and may we say one heck of a dancer. Will, already enamored by Jada, asked none other than Alfonso Ribeiro if he could arrange a meeting. So Alfonso knew you. I was like, yo, dude, I saw this girl on Different World last night. I was like, it's, her name is Jada. On the day they were supposed to meet, Will caught sight of another woman named Cherie, who he would end up marrying, having a son with, and splitting up with. But during that time, he and Jada would continue to cross paths until, well, the rest is history. I said, good. I said, are you seeing anybody? Oh my god. And she said, uh, no. I said, cool, you're seeing me now. And my dumb and ass was said, like, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. How they deal with rumors. Every year, there seems to be a new rumor about the couple, some more fun than others, as Jada once admitted in an interview about people thinking that they were swingers. It's, it's, it's constant. Really? And I'm like, yo, I wish. Damn. <laughs> Unfortunately, a majority of them are about the two breaking up. It happens so often that the couple tend to not respond to what they feel is utter nonsense. But when they do respond, well, there are a couple ways they shut haters down their bold declarations on social media, interviews where they question why people are so desperate for them to break up, and even diss tracks. You know, you would think that people would be rooting for you to stay together, right. not to break up. I hear you. But just so that you know, we're not getting a divorce. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. That's right, Will Smith stepped into the studio and we'll let him take it from here. 20 years of swag you'll just witness. Stop the divorce rumors and mind your damn business. Number eight. Their charity work. Throughout the years, this Hollywood power couple has donated to an ongoing list of charitable causes, even making it onto Forbes' most generous celebrities list for their efforts. From donating their birthdays to charity water and hosting a contest for three fans to join them in Africa, to creating their own family foundation to youth in the arts, the Pinkett Smith family is one that believes in giving back to the community and working to set a good example for everyone. If only all celebs could use their influence like this. Number seven, Jada's relationship with Cherie. You living in a house I picked out. You said, it's my house now. Oh, <laughs> One of the many things we love about the Smith Pinkett family is their honesty when it comes to their relationship. Jada especially doesn't sugarcoat things, as seen in the first episode of her series, Red Table Talk. Here, she sits down and speaks to Will's ex-wife and mother of his oldest son, Cherie Fletcher. So Trey comes home. I said, well, how did you like Miss Jada? He said, I really liked her, Mommy. Oh, my God. Thank you. While she and Will did not hook up while he was married, she admits that she probably should have taken a step back while he and Cherie were going through their divorce. I probably should have fell back. You think? I do, I and I'm gonna tell you why. However, the two women not only work things out, but Jada has also thanked Cherie for being her entry point into motherhood by demonstrating how to be a good parent. My son could not have a better bonus mom. Thank you, Ray. No, thank you. He couldn't. And he's got a great mother. Thank you. Aww. <laughs> Number six, Will's 20-year marriage anniversary message. Will Smith joining Instagram was one of the greatest gifts of 2017, and we've been reaping the benefits ever since. Seriously, he's guaranteed to put a smile on your face or make you tear up when he decides to post something as endearing as his message to Jada on their 20th wedding anniversary. Of course, he couldn't post a simple happy anniversary. No, that'd be too easy. Instead, he compared love to gardening, revealing the things he's learned along the way. Listening, giving, nurturing your partner, helping them blossom. He also shared a picture of the two of them when they first walked down the aisle. We're not crying, you're crying. Number five, just the two of us music video. 
One of the many ways to say I love you is to express yourself through song. Will Smith, being Will Smith, took this idea and, well, made an entire music video, because that's what you do when you're going Big Willie style. His version of the Grover Washington Jr. and Bill Withers classic puts emphasis on a father's love for his son, featuring the rapper with his eldest child, Trey, along with other celebrity fathers with their children. However, the video also features a pregnant Jada, showing us the growth of the Pinkett Smith family, and more importantly, it shows that Trey is included in that family. Number 4. Admitting Their Flaws we never went into working on our relationship. We only ever worked on ourselves individually and then presented ourselves to one another better than we were previously. The number one question couples get when they've been together for a long time is, how do you do it? Well, remember what we said about loving the Smith Pinkett honesty? This is a couple that doesn't simply respond with the often used, we're just so in love, in regards to being together for multiple decades. Will and Jada have spoken at length on how, like every other relationship on the planet, there are both good times and bad. So I really think that it takes a lot of work separately, honestly, yeah. um, in order to have a good union. In fact, they not only commented on going to marriage counseling, they championed it, and have not shied away from the fact that you have to be willing to do the work in order to maintain a happy marriage. Number 3. All Their Red Carpet Moments whether it's at awards ceremonies, in interviews, or even when other celebs tell stories about them, you just can't get enough of these two. And as we walk on, I walk on first, and everybody start clapping and cheering, and I'm like, thank you, thank you, ha <laughs> yes, I brought them. And it's like, no, not you, not you, Will, Jada, Will, Jada. Basically, you can argue that everything this couple does makes our social media feed a little bit brighter. But the red carpet? That's where they really shine. First off, their fashion game is always 100% on point but they always seem to have such a great time together. Will's obviously a bit of a goofball, but Jada takes his antics in stride, and sometimes the cameras catch them giving each other looks that let the other and the whole world know just how in love they are. Number 2. Their Oprah Interview 10 out of 10 would recommend spending 40 minutes checking out this interview. Because he's a thinker. He's always in his hand, so head. Take a sip of this. He's always, you know, <laughs> sure. he's always That's thinking, you know. He's always thinking. So. In 2010, the Pinkett Smith family sat down with Oprah and gave us a glimpse of their life. Oh, and the members of their extended family were there too. Cherie, her husband, even the couple's grandmothers were present in the audience. The show opened with husband and wife. Then later in this segment, Oprah talked to Trey, Jaden, and Willow. I want them to, to live and to create in a way that when people see it, people are inspired and people become better just by having contact with the things. With their excellence. With their right. excellence. Yes, yes, yeah. You yeah. know, and but it's they have to be able to define that for themselves. For themselves, right. From relationship tips to raising kids and being a successful family filled to the brim with talent, it was a grand showing of their love for one another and how they keep it all together. Before we get to our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I was failing miserably. Uh -huh. But on the outside, I was winning. Like, I was built a house and called the house her lake, right? Number 1. Being Life Partners <gasps> Did you hear? Will and Jada don't call themselves married anymore. As much as marriage is a relationship commitment, it really is a singular commitment to yourself that you are going to use your marriage to develop yourself. Ah, those rumors are at it again, only this one is actually true, but it's not what you think. On Title's Rap Radar podcast, Will broke down where he and Jada are in their relationship, as the couple now considers themselves to be life partners, a space Will says you reach when you realize that you're going to be with someone for the rest of your life. We, we, we refer to ourselves as life partners, right? Where you get into that space when you realize you are literally with somebody for the rest of your life. Both of them feel that marriage is about being the best version of yourself, about being an individual who can work on loving themselves before coming together to form, well, a union that's 20 years strong. She has my support till death. Right. You know what I mean? And it feels so good to get to that space where you're not complaining and worrying and demanding that a person be a certain thing to... to um, uh, sort of satiate your ego deficiency. Do you agree with our picks? 
Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.